Hi, this is Chef and Builder Janie Pendleton. We're back outside where my husband and I are building the forms for our capstones for that stone wall that we've been building. We got the stoning done. Now we just have to make our concrete caps. Now you can do this in brick if you want to. If you can lay brick. Um, I just thought they were, since we use the cobbles, I just thought it was a little bit too bumpy for brick. I would have loved to have had the red brick. I had plenty. But we also had 15 bags of concrete to use up as well. So we decided to go ahead and make our own concrete caps. So what we've done here is we've built our form. You don't want to go any less than two inches thick, no more than four inches thick. Especially since we're going to be hand mixing this concrete. Now you don't want to use mortar for this. We're going to use concrete. And we're not going to use quickcrete. We're going to use regular Portland mix cement. The, the pre-mixed stuff and I'll show that to you here in just a minute. Now we've taken some of this uh, garden or rabbit cage wire here and it's just really flexible. You see that? It's just really easy to bend. And we've bent this down and we've made like little little legs here off the ends here and we've cut this to size. Now what you want to make sure that you don't do is you don't want these to stick out and rub on the sides of your wall. Okay? Now next, when we get this all the way down here, and we know that the majority of the concrete is going to be above the wire, and not a lot of the wire is going to be showing on the bottom, what we're going to do next is we're going to paint this with some sort of motor oil, or maybe some spray some Pam on it, because we want these boards just to pop right off of here. Unlike the mortar, we can't afford to have anything come off the side on this, or it'll, it could damage the look of the actual top. So, um... So yeah, we've got our dividers here. We're making three separate ones, and we've divided it. So we've taken the whole of the top and the length, and we put our dividers in it. And then what I'll do is I'll put mortar between that and some caulking uh, when I put these tops together. Because this makes it easier for my husband and I to carry something this size versus something this entire length. And the shorter walls will do just two instead of three. All right, so come on over here. I'm going to show you how I put down the wire. Again, we want to make sure that these wires, let's see if you can see them here, we want to make sure that they're not rubbing on the side because when I pour this, I don't want to be able to see these or hit these when I'm brushing it down. So we're just going to bend these down, pour up. Again, nothing's touching the edges. Okay, here we're just using high strength concrete mix. This is by Satcrete. And you can also use the quickcrete, but I think that this um, high strength concrete mix, I think it works a lot better for the application that we're using it for. But I'll leave that up to your judgment. These are 60 pound bags, the other were 80 pound bags. So it's going to take a little bit more, but when this sets up, it's going to have a much finer, much smoother consistency, and it's going to uh, dry a lot harder. Now what I'm probably going to do is pour a little bit in here, flatten it out, put the wire, chicken wire grids back in, and then uh, kind of smooth those down in there with my trowel and then we'll put another coat on top of that. That'll put the wire a little bit more in the middle. Now here's my husband over here. We're going to put in, hopefully three bags will do it. I'm just going to add a little bit of water. We're going to make this cake batter like. You want this pretty soupy so it'll fill in the nice squares, you know, the nice angles. Be sure and wear a face mask. We've got perfect weather for this. The sun's going to help this cure, but it's not so hot that this is going to cure too fast and crack. I think that's very important. We're having about a what, maybe a 78 degree day. Uh, we had a little bit of a breeze. Beautiful day for building uh, molds, concrete molds and forms. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take these out and we're just going to sit them right here. Then we're going to take some Pam. I mean, all I had was some Crisco butter spray. Doesn't matter. Some Pam will work. And we're just going to spray the inside of this mold. Just like that. Make sure we get it nice and saturated. is the part I'm most uh, worried about. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do this next one. 
one, just in case we have enough to put in the next one. Get the corners really well. Gonna absorb it just a little bit. Okay, here's the consistency of the concrete mix. It's like a thick cake batter. As a matter of fact, I think you ought to put just a little bit more water in there and make it a little thinner. There you go. Ooh. <laughs> I want this to settle down in every crack and every corner. There you go, like a thick cake batter. Let me float it and we'll uh, put the, the water in there. And we don't want to put any of the other ones because we want to work with this one first. goes all the way to this corner and to the side. We don't want any broken or, um, or chipped off looking corners. It's really solid in there. I'm going to take my chicken wire that we bent all the wires down to fit, making sure nothing touches the edges. Vibrate that in there just like that. Get that down in there. Okay. See, I covered that wire right up, and now we're going to bring everything to the top of this board right here. So when I float it, it will be to the top of this board. You've got time to work with this, so just relax with it. And Like this kind of wiggle it like jello see how i'm just kind of taking it and just kind of giving it a vibration this gets the, the wetter stuff at the top gets a nice square edge nice in the corners makes it real bad Not quick creep, so you got some time to work with it. This also helps give a nice smooth side as well, because we're going to knock these off, and I don't want rock showing on the side. And I'll show you how I do that a little bit more here in just a minute. I'm going to get all the bubbles out. Still a lot of bubbles.
air bubbles out. It'll help get it smooth and side like this to the side. these corners to be nice and settled. Up off the trowel. Do we have enough to do another one? I think we do. Okay, we've got that floated, got the excess water off the top, and we're just going to let this sit now for 24 hours, but I'm going to come back here in about an hour, and I'm going to kind of, well, I got something special I'm going to do to it, so come back, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Oh, I got to put my signature ideas to it. Okay, so here I'm just laying some seashells into the top of the concrete. Get around here so you can see it better. See that? And some sea glass. And I'm just making some really cool designs here. And these will all butt up to each other. And giving it the same design. And now I'm getting ready to do this other one here. Put you up closer here so you can see it. Isn't that neat? Okay, we're just removing the end plates. See, look how good that edge looks. Excellent. All the way down. They're straight. They meet up with each other. And we made three of them at the same time. We're going to pull these little boards here out in a minute as soon as we get the end caps off. Nice that looks, John. You couldn't have bought these like that. I don't think so. No, they look real good. Hopefully they'll... Probably better than that would be... I'm just moving it just a little bit, just to... Okay, at this stage, because it's really humid out and because it rained, we didn't get this covered up with plastic this morning when the rains came. And we got enough rain that it's still really soft. So we're just going to let this sit here, let it rest so we don't knock off any more corners. We kind of lost a little corner here and we was trying to knock out the uh, boards. We're just going to let this sit. We're going to let this sit for another 24 hours. We're not going to touch it. Um, you pick it up, one of these up now, you'll break it in half or, or crumble it. You don't want to do that. You want this to be good, cured, and firm. Okay? Now what you're seeing over here is just the plastic tape that we put down in there. That'll come right off. 
and you can see the forms came right off with a little bit of the oil it came right off a little bit of that spray pam not an issue there at all and this is the results of it so far and like I said when we pull these boards out here we'll have three separate pieces just like that right there And I think we probably would have paid for about $300 for these tops, if not up to $800 for these tops, had we had to purchase them in, um, in pre-manufactured concrete or stone. But having made these ourselves, having some fu fun with some design work, we've got probably about, what, maybe $50 in it? This is Chef and Builder Janie Pendleton with my husband, John. And again, these are the capstones for our wall. And we'll come back on the next video when we're going to show you how to install them. Blessings.